Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. We've got a question from a fellow boarder asking, what's the purpose of a battery box? And should I have one for AGM batteries? All right, so let's first think about what the purpose of a battery box is. A battery box actually serves multiple purposes, right? One, it's actually a way to contain batteries and make sure that you're not gonna do act put anything on top of the batteries that might cause the batteries to be accidentally shorted, right? Causing the positive and negative to be connected. So that'd be one reason to have a battery box. Um, another reason to have a battery box is that you actually want to contain the electrolyte that might come out of the top of the battery or either through a crack on the battery. And when that happens, right, which is important, that the electrolyte is gonna stay contained within a battery box. So that means that if the electrolyte comes in the bottom of the battery box, there are no holes in the bottom of this battery box, and effectively, the battery box is a container. So flooded lead acid batteries, obviously, um, this happens a lot. As the batteries age, the batteries end up swelling and getting hot because they have more resistance, and some of that acid leaks through the top under bulk charging and absorption charging and comes at the bottom of the battery. Now, if you have an AGM battery, you're not going to have a leaky battery. So the purpose of a battery box is not to contain any spilled electrolyte. It's actually to basically protect the batteries from accidentally shortening. Or you, I've, I'm dealing with a boat owner right now. They want to be able to add stuff on top of the battery box because otherwise they're losing all that space. So if I had an AGM battery and I was able to install a battery box, I would. But you don't have to have one because, again, there is no spilled electrolyte. If you're installing a battery without a box, you need to make sure that every single positive connection on that battery, and I even do this for the negative, have protective caps so that you're removing the chances for an accidental short between a negative and a positive post on the battery. And when it comes to the question of doing a battery box, yes, a fiberglass battery box is perfect because it will not react to the sulfuric acid that might leak in the bottom. And a lot of boat builders have custom fiberglass battery boxes that are done for them. And they're a great choice. The only challenge is you have to do it and it must be time consuming to build a fiberglass battery box. So that was an excellent question about battery boxes. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill up one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. That way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.